Hi guys and welcome back to the channel Ron's Keto Cafe and I'm Ron if you're new welcome and if you're a returning member welcome back and if you're a new member could you please share like and smash that subscribe button it definitely helps my channel and before we get started I'm not a medical doctor I don't make any medical claims this is all based on my own personal journey so please do your homework first and welcome to week 169 and today's topic is depression and stress wow that's a big one huh well, we didn't have a very good weight loss week. In fact, we didn't have a very good weight loss month. And over the last two or three months, I've been picking up a lot of poundage and a lot of uh, unwanted carbs. So what's going on, guys, is I'm having some uh, issues with my lower, um, behind my thigh area. And I found out this past week that I got a hamstring. And it's preventing me from doing a lot of walking that I normally would like to do more than what I currently am able to do. I'm only doing about a mile every other day, a couple of miles here and there, the best I can. And, uh, you know, it's tearing me up at nighttime. I can't sleep properly. I got a lot of pain in my lower back area because of it. And I can feel like the sciatic nerve really hurting right now. So um, this coming week, I'm going to, I'm making an appointment to have the doctor do an MRI and I'm going to have it take a look at it more extensively and see what's going on and see hopefully it's just nothing more than a strain. Hopefully it's not a tear and uh, go from there and, get, and of course get the weight back under control because we got uh, Thanksgiving coming up pretty soon and uh, this past week there we had the uh, St. Cecilia's uh, uh, Arcadian Fair. I volunteered both days and uh, had a ton of people both days, talked to a lot of people both days. And again, I had some food that I was, you know, not really appropriate for weight loss. I had a, what's called a uh, putin and a rape. It is a Canadian dish. And, uh, you know, I always have it around the holidays and nothing's ever going to change with that. So, you know, you know, don't be a keto police of my food. You know, it is what it is. But... You know, I look forward to that every year, and, uh, you know, again, yeah, so my wife came with me Friday night, she didn't come with me Saturday, and uh, we didn't win anything at the fair this time, and then we took a uh, raffle and another uh, raffle chance that they had at the uh, local hospital this week, and we didn't win nothing there either, but you can't win every time, right, guys, but uh, we've been pretty lucky with the uh, raffle, and uh, so I'm going to continue on with the uh, recipes, and uh I bought a nice brand new overhead tripod I really love. It's got a heavy duty base and I can set it up for the overhead. And uh, my, I can use two cameras now. I'll use my uh, camera that I'm filming now, which is the Canon camera. I'll use that for the uh, side angles and I'll use the overhead for the top angle when I'm doing some video filming in the uh, front room. And I got a, some nice new backgrounds that I bought for the kitchen countertop so we don't have that glare of the uh, light on the uh, counter surface and uh, I only got a small room to work with so I'm t I do the best I can. Uh, so we get another channel going but we haven't got no videos up there yet you know so I'm waiting to get about 30 or 40 videos before I start putting uh, the uh, those up on the channel and I'm going to be consistent with the videos every day. And uh, yeah so Veterans Day Saturday we uh, ended up going down to the uh, Evergreen Cemetery and I filmed a, uh, a uh, honoring one of my past members of the commission there for the uh, uh, military salute. He had passed away, and then they did a bench dedication at Carter Park. Uh, turned it into the studio later on, and, uh, you know, I, so when I went to go get his camera out for Thursday, they approached me with uh, one of the cameras that I used. He said I was the last one to use it, and it came back broken. Well, I never turned the camera in broken. If I would have break, broken it, I would have owned up to it and said, hey, look, I had a problem. The camera fell. If that broke and the piece broke, broke off on the camera. So, you know, I got accused of something that I didn't do. So that didn't sit well to it with me. And uh, I was talking to uh, some people that I know that know, know a lot about what's going on at the studio. And they're going to try to see if the mayor can step in and put an end to it. But uh, they got to get rid of that guy because he's, he, he, you know, a lot of, you know, they lost a lot of people over there because they don't want to work with him. And, uh and I'm no different. So um, when I turned in my vi my video this week, or when it when I will be turning it in, um, going forward, I'm not filming no more for them. But I am going to film the last two events that I'll be returning. I'll be giving them guys that if they want the copy of it, and 
and going forward with the Colonial being in the monitor of the corral, I'm going to mention to both of those uh, directors there that, hey, look, uh, they got issues over there at the studio. If you want me to film, I'll film, but you'll let me know what you want me to do. I have my own camera. I'm going to use my own stuff. I'm not going to be using their stuff and get accused of something I didn't do. And we'll get whatever video we get out of it. Because in the past, uh, the Colonial band, they've been around forever. And nobody's ever filmed that. And then I, so before I came along, and then I started filming all the local events, and you know, and uh, you know, same way with the Halloween parade. You know, they when they did the Halloween parade, they, you know, they, they had a guy out there filming it, and uh, he did a lousy job putting it together for the studio. I've been doing this right along for the last ten years, twelve years now, and and uh, I said, okay, I said, you know what? These are all public events. Anybody could be out there doing whatever they want to do, you know, as long as you behave yourself, right? So I'm going to go and I'll film for our own personal archives and for my own personal channel, and I'll put it together on my own channel. And uh, and then uh, I was talking to one of the city council members Friday night, and he said, Mom, why don't you just start another Lemister page here for your own stuff, you know? And I said, well, I don't know, because they already got enough you know, Facebook pages now as it is. They got a couple, and it's an awful lot to do, too. So if I decide to do another Lemister page, it'll just be for my page, and it won't be for the commission, and I won't be sharing any, any stuff with them. Uh, and, you know, if I share it with them, I'll give it to them, but if, but uh, I won't use any of their material because I, I, I don't want to cause issues with anybody or anything like that. But anything I do going forward now, after the uh, next two concerts, are, are going to be for my own personal use, not for the... Uh, studio anymore until they uh, do something with that guy because I'm not dealing with him too much anymore after this because I, I really had it. It's just too bad because uh, as far as I'm concerned that uh, I don't know what really went on over there but um, when the, the uh, director that just pre previously retired, they should have offered that job to the, uh, some of the senior personnel that was there before they went outside the uh, realm to go pick somebody out from the Boston area. and. Uh, you know, offer that to them and then let them take over the studio and then they would have still had all the crew there, you know, and it would have been one big happy family, but now it just stinks coming over there. So that, that would have been my, my first choice and how I would have done it, but everybody's different. But it is what it is, uh, you know, if they if, if they decide to keep them, then I'm, I'm not going back there after I turn in my last two concerts. I'm done with that, you know. And, uh, you know, just being happy-go-lucky, Ron, and just going out doing my own thing and, you know, continue on with uh, everything. Now, school update. Uh, they want me to take a pre-aptitude test for English and math because they want to see where I am with my level of reading and writing. I'm not doing that, guys. I'm 67 years old. I'll be 68 in August coming up, and I'm, I don't feel as if I need all that extra bullshit. All I want to do is do video and video editing and, and learn the sound system, or, or they call it a uh, the switcher that switches audio and video. And I don't need the, all that other stuff. If I have to do all that other stuff at that school to get get what I need to get or, or the training, that's it's, 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 the school's dead to me. So I called up one of the local schools this past week, uh, Monty Tech, and they got a lot of programs coming up this spring for January. And I'm going to get involved over there at a, a local uh, vocational school. And, you know, I'll pay for it out of my own pocket. Every one of those classes are only $100 or a little bit more than $100. And it's affordable. So I'm going to go that way. And I don't have to worry about a degree. They do offer culinary school. They do offer um, some other programs like that that I want to get into, get involved with. So that's definitely the way I'm going. So if they got, you know, you know, and... Uh, yeah, so, you know, would I like to, like to get a degree or a master's degree? Yeah, but, that, you know, for me, my age and my level of education, that, that's a lot for somebody to handle my age. Plus, I got a lot of medical appointments. I got to keep up with my wife and myself and everything, and it's rough on us. And uh, plus, I got a big car payment I got to be making now, which is, you know, you know, after I get my house squared away, but coming around in February, I'm going back to work. I don't give a crap what this place says, he says where I live. So I'm going to get a full-time job. I'm, if I have to go night shift, I'll go night shift again, you know, third shift. And because uh, I'm up all hours in the night anyways, and I'll just slow down on the video filming. But um, I've been trying to figure out how to get the uh, game night going for us, guys. And uh, it doesn't seem like it's too bad, but I I just got to figure out the uh, how to set it up properly on YouTube through a stream. Yeah, I, I know I got to have a browser open, and I got to have the game going. And then I just uh, end up, then when I go to stream yard, there's a link on the bottom where you just click on it for that and it just automatically pulls that tab open or something like that. And then you go live. I don't think I could set it up, uh, oh, like, uh, um, 
Okay, say like if I just go live, right? I mean, go live and go set it up as a uh, an advanced setting. Maybe there is, I don't know. But uh, um, what I'm saying is like today, today when I'm posting this video, say for instance, is, uh, today is Monday or Sunday, whenever I post this, um, if I set it up for uh, next Saturday, for instance, I don't know if it'll let me go in next Saturday and just do the video. I might have to set it up that day and that time that I want to do it. So these are some things I'm just trying to figure out and uh, we'll see what happens from there. But hopefully if we can figure it out and get it down to a science, then we're going to start doing a game night probably possibly on Monday and possibly on Saturday, at least one of those two nights. And then after we hit a certain amount of levels, I'll offer some cash giveaways. And uh, that'll help get my watch hours up there, and it'll be an enjoyable night for us guys, you know, like Anne Marie does. But, uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm just going to continue on with the recipes and do the best we can to lose the weight, keep you guys updated on everything else. The cat and the wife has been fine. Donna's feeling a lot much, much better now. And uh, she, she's going to go for cataract surgery next month. So I got a call this past week, and they, they made the appointments for her. She, it's, it's, two, it's two different days that she's going to do that. And hopefully she'll be all right after that. And uh, cat's been a little pain behind, but it is what it is. And uh, I'm going to continue uh, to try to get up out there the best I can and to try to inspire you guys the best I can. So we have the uh, Festival of Trees coming up in the City Hall. The trees that are get put up by people in Lemister and they're donated to the city. People can bid on them through a uh, auction. Money goes to the Mayor's Fuel Program. You get to keep the tree. And uh, I'm going to go down and take some photography of all that and some video for something to get it for my channel. And then uh, as long as it doesn't interfere with the Colonial Band when they do the tree lightning and the stroll and the parade, I'm going to film all that for my own personal usage. And I'll uh, put that up and show you guys that. I might even do a live video that night and uh, show you the parade. You know, it'd be kind of cool, right? As long as I can get the internet connection. If I can't, then I'll probably just go, um, you know, I'll film it on my uh, small tripod. And make sure I dress for it because it does get very cold and uh, during this time of year like today it's down 30 degrees it's very cold today we had frost on the windows this morning but anyways I guess that's all I got to say but be watching for some more videos be watching for some more pop-up lives again don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you so much for all the new subscribers and be watching for live videos and I'll continue and if there's anything changes over the one when I, when I pre-filmed all this video that you're watching I'll I'll share it in the future update and have an amazing week.